Having a day out in the park or countryside is a brilliant way of getting some fresh air and chilling out. Especially when there's somewhere to swim! Woohoo! But pools and lakes can be dangerous. You could slip if you run on wet ground. Uh, not me. I always walk slowly and safely to the water's edge. Well, you could get into a tangle trying to change into your swimming trunks and fall over. Not if you've already come wearing your swimmers mm -hmm. under your clothes. Well, you could stub your toe on rocks getting into the water. Not if you use the jetty, Chris. Well, in that case, I needn't have worried. I'll just sit back and read my book. Yippee! Chris! 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 I think Zon's drowning. Yippee! This looks like an injury alert. I'd better save him. If you see someone drowning, never jump in to rescue them. Go and get an adult. Once they've been rescued from the water, should you... A. Sing them a sea shanty. B. Give them the book Learn How to Swim. Or C. Check if they're breathing and, if they are, roll them on their side, tilt their head back and call 999. The correct answer is, of course, C. Check if they're breathing and, if they are, roll them on their side, tilt their head back and call 999. Let's see if this lot get it right. They've not had any advice and they're winging it. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! Off you go! Temiteo and Dami are both pretending that they've been rescued from a lake after they started drowning. Quick, guys, they need your help. She's breathing. Yes, yeah, she's breathing. Checking she's breathing is a great start. I'll maybe try and start doing chest compressions. They know yeah, she's like breathing that. and they're still doing chest compressions, which isn't going to do any good at all. We've got to put him on his side. They put him on his side, which is good, but they didn't check anything first. How do you get water out of someone? They haven't worked out if he's breathing or not. Our teams didn't quite get this right. They had some good ideas. I put him into the rescue position. And a few dodgy ones. Mirabel, why did you start doing chest compression? Just so that she can at least get a bit of water out of her system. So you were trying to squeeze her out like a sponge. Time to show you how it should be done. So Chris, just been pulled out of the lake, but he's not responsive. Remember, we're showing you what to do in an emergency, but it's always best to get an adult. After you've checked he's unresponsive... Check that he's breathing. So I'm going to tilt his head back, his mouth open. To work out if someone's breathing, place your face close to theirs. Look, is their chest moving? Listen, can you hear them breathing? And feel, can you feel their breath on your face? And he is breathing, but he's not responsive. So the next thing I need to do is get him in a position which will keep his airway open. Get that arm up, this arm over here, this leg up, and roll him towards me. Most important bit is to tilt his head like that so that his airway is open. This also helps any water come out. And now I phone the ambulance. 999, give my location, say what's happened, say that I want an ambulance, and they'll be on their way. While you're waiting, keep checking the person is still breathing. Are you ready to have another go? Yeah! Off you go. So if you see someone who's been rescued from drowning and is unresponsive, check their breathing, and if they are, roll them onto their side, tilt their head back, and then call 999. He's breathing, but she isn't responding. If the person isn't breathing, the response is different. You must call 999 immediately and find an adult. Don't worry, Zon, I've got you. Oh, I'm not drowning. I was waving to say hello. Oh, well, always better to be safe than sorry, I say. 